Well, good evening, everyone. And for today's video on tying Puget Sound Sea Run Cutthroat Fies, I've got another real simple pattern, Big Shock. Uh, it's basically just a Clouser minnow, slight variant. Um, the reason I'm tying this fly tonight is that uh, he was quite successful for us yesterday. Um, first saw this pattern on Washington Fly Fishing. Uh, Stonefish had posted it, and uh, as usual, whenever he posts stuff, I pay attention. And I tied up a couple a while back, and I hadn't really fished them a whole lot. Well, lately I've been taking a buddy out fishing the beaches with me who uh, hasn't really ever done that before. And uh, yesterday he was out with me and he dug around in my box and he pulled this fly out, tied it on, and uh, long story short, fish circles around me. Um, it was extremely productive. Um, there was a lot of chum fry around. The cutthroat were, were definitely eating some chum fry, but uh, I couldn't get them on fry patterns, couldn't get them on any of my usual stuff, but they were just absolutely crushing this fly. Uh, I only had two of them, and naturally I lost the one I tied on onto a rock. So uh, at the end of the day, I was down to one. So sat down to tie some up tonight and figured I might as well just knock out a video. Uh, to start with, here I've got a, a Tiemco 811S hook, size 6, um, and some Vivas 10-0 uh, orange thread. I've been tying more and more on the 811s's. Um, I've just I'm getting really tired of getting dinged and banged and bent up and broken hooks. Um, and these hooks are they're very expensive, but uh, they're worth it for their strength. They're just a super strong, super sharp, really nice saltwater hook. I'm gonna try to knock this out in a hurry. Um, usually I do my videos during the day when I'm all alone, but uh, tonight uh, my wife's asleep on the couch, and I thought, oh. I'll just bang this one out real quick. Well, this is about take six because she keeps coughing every every time I try to talk or do an intro. So I'm going to try to haul butt through this one and see if I can get her done. But here, here's some coughing in the background. Just bear with me. So to start off, I'm just going to, as usual, lay down a thread base. And, uh, and then I'll be tying in my... Uh, oh, that's not good. My... I think I'm going to be needing some new, new set of jaws for this vise. It's been acting up recently. Try this. Okay. So I've got a... Uh, uh, these are uh, pseudo eyes made by hairline, size small, nickel red. Uh, you know, you can use whatever eyeball you, you like. Just going to tie this in like a normal clouser. Leaving a little bit of room in front of the eye for... And like I usually do, I will put a, put a dab of glue on there. So, get these eyes on there really shocked me how effective this pattern was yesterday. The, the fish were absolutely crushing it too. There was just no subtlety involved whatsoever. Uh, my buddy Justin caught, ended up catching the biggest cutthroat he's ever caught. Uh, probably pushing 19 inches. Just a gorgeous fish that fought like no other. And I was really, really happy that he had a good day. But uh, I wasn't terribly happy that I only had two of these flies in the box. For whatever reason, they were really keyed in on this orange yesterday. And orange is not a, a color that I have fished for sea run cuts all that much in years past. Uh, this year I've been adding it more and more and uh, I'm starting to become a pretty big fan. So as usual, I'm going to probably go overboard trying to secure these eyeballs, but... Uh, as I've said in the past, I just cannot tolerate clouser eyes that that move around. And you look at it after a few casts, and the, the eyeballs are sideways and just look stupid. For all I know, those might catch fish even better. But so I just like to make sure that's straight before I get too crazy. Okay, I put some glue on there. 
I really emphasize durability for my saltwater flies just because when you fish the beaches around here they just take a beating one way or another it's it's just a brutal environment and uh, I use a lot of glue so starting off I'm going to go with some uh, orange crystal flash for this one uh, I used a little different flash on, on the original ones I tied but I'm just going to try this see what this looks like today and I want this pattern you know maybe two inches long tops at least right now you can definitely go bigger or smaller as you need to that good and tight in now I'm gonna go with some uh, nice orange bucktail just picked this bucktail up not that long ago and this is one of the nicer bucktails I've got from a got it from a sportsman's warehouse and a lot of times it's those can be hit and miss but my local one here has some really nice tying materials mainly because the guy that one of the guys that works there is a die-hard fly tire, extremely talented fly tire, so I think he probably has some input on on what they stock. And like I always do with, with the my clousers, I tie it in behind the eyeball. If you tie it in ahead of the eyes, you know, like a standard clouser, um, you know, usually you would tie it in up here, fold it over the top of the eyes, and then tie it down right behind the eyes. What that does is, for especially for beach fishing, is it creates a spot where this is where your your bucktail will break, it'll fray and split out, and and then it just looks like junk. So, so this is really the only uh, little variant part of this. Uh, I've got some, uh, it's like a gold colored uh, estaz, and I'm gonna tie this like I do my coho clousers with a flat blade body only I'm using this Estaz so I'll just wrap that get a nice kind of gold little body going Come back up over the eyes, kind of cover up those thread wraps, and that's simply just for my tastes. It's not like the fish will look at the thread wraps and say, oh, I'm not eating that. Tie that down. Try to get those, any of those wispy fibers out of my way. Work the hook, and it's just going to be some more orange bucktail. Uh, this is really, really easy pattern. These couple ingredients, and as I've said a million times, that's the only kind of patterns I tie. Simple and effective. That's just what I'm looking for. So when I lose a bunch of these on the beach, I don't want to have to cry about it. I'll just kind of measure this to length as best I can. Since it's orange on orange bucktail anyway, it's not like I guess matching the length is all that important, but to get that on and then if I need to I can kind of tweak it a little bit. And then we'll just finish off this head. And a whip finish. And of course some Sally Hansons.
Yesterday we were fishing this fly on a intermediate lines, short leaders, just about four or five feet of eight pound maxima right off the end of the fly loops, the welded loops on the fly line. And uh, the cutthroat wanted this thing stripped pretty slow yesterday. Uh, they might be taking it as a sculpin or something. I really don't know. Frankly, I don't care. All I know is it catches fish. So, uh, you know, give this one a whirl. Uh, if it, put some in your box if it works for you. I'd love to hear about it. And as always, thanks for watching.